Okay, we're going to install our uh, SRS sensor. We have our TRS sensor down here for the that measures off the crank. This one measures off the camshaft to tell us where top dead number one is. Uh, I'm going to silo glide the old ring again, lube it up. It's basically a magnet. As it goes past, it picks up off a tooth off the bull gear to tell us where top dead center number one is. Basically put that in there, torque the bolt down, and it's ready to go. Uh, we'll have to get the harness on to connect it. Okay, we're going to install our air compressor drive. This has a gasket on it, so I don't need to worry about that too much. Um, could put some gas fill in there on it, sure wouldn't hurt anything. This is our air compressor drive. There's some long bolts. This also helps hold the cover on. If I had an air compressor, this would help. Be this one. I said the same thing with this one. I need to make sure I have backlash when I'm all done. So I'll torque it down. I'll go up front and make sure I actually got backlash. Okay, I've got all my bolts in. Now I'm going to tighten them. Oops. I'm going to Works a lot better without an extension. One sucker right there. Okay, right here is our compressor drive that we installed a minute ago. I can hear that I have backlash. Um, I could go in and actually measure it. Um, basically put a dial indicator on here and, and check and see how much side play you have or gear lash i'm sorry it's just a cover that goes on here i put some gasket eliminator on it just a real small bead of it you don't need a lot this one doesn't have an o-ring like a lot of the other stuff does Oh, ring sure make it nice because you don't have to worry about silicone or gasket eliminator or whatever you're using. Okay. Actually over torqued most of those it looks like. Okay, our front cover is done it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to put my oil pump drive gear on, or fuel pump drive gear, I'm sorry. They can be rebuilt, that's usually not something you would do, usually you just buy a new one it does say top right here um, same thing I Vaseline the o-ring and it's gonna go in the same way as all the other stuff does just gonna have to get it to pop past that o-ring Correctly. And then I'm going to come back. Like I said, obviously, I would come back and retorque those, and that will be done. And grab that. I can hear that I have um, gear lash. Okay, we're going to install our fuel pump. There is an ear busted off here, as you can see. Um, I should be replacing this. There's a gasket also that goes on there. Um, that's something I'm going to put on the parts list for next time. But I've got to get it lined up with these cogs in here. If it's not lined up, it won't work.
three bolts that hold it on. Torque those to 20 foot pounds and then we hook up our fuel lines and we're ready to rock and roll on this side. Oh, we've got to put the starter on. Do that next. Okay, so bolt there, there, and so so forth. Okay, we're gonna install our oil our uh, fuel filter housings. Let the bolts go in right here. Fuel actually comes in up here off this housing. Those tighten up, and then this hose goes here. about 45 or so. Done. This would be our primary fuel filter here. I would, before I put my fuel filter on, I would go ahead and prime it and pre-fill it. I'm just getting ready to start the thing. It's also got a fuel temperature fitting here. So this is all on like so. About 45 again. Okay, this fitting is going to come here to the supply fitting of the head. Notice it's lower, that's how I know it's a supply. This upper one also has a, an orifice fitting in it. Uh, the orifice fitting keeps fuel in the head, doesn't allow it to um, Okay, should put a backup on that before I tighten it the rest of the way. But. All right, I'm gonna install the ECM right here. These little rubber isolators are really important. If they're missing, it'll vibrate the ECM. This one, this other side's really screwed up. Um, that's something I need to order. Two out of the four, okay, right? <laughs> Okay, the next thing, the engine harness, that's going to go on here. Here's the ECM plug. It's a quarter inch nut driver back here. It's going to go into one of these plugs here. Only goes in one or the other. And don't force it. Okay, there it goes. I'm gonna start it. I'll bring the camera around in a second. Look at that. Kind of want to get these laid out so we can kind of see where stuff goes. So, one goes here. One goes here. And the map sensor or boost pressure sensor goes there. See how the telephone wire marked up? Makes it really nice if you're able to get a hold of that stuff. These hold downs, you always want to put those back up as well. Kind of hold stuff in place. That goes there. That will come up here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and install our starter. You can re-clock these starters um, many different ways. There are a lot of them are Delco starters and they only fit, they're very universal, they'll fit multiple different engines, but there's three bolts here. They're kind of a goober to get at. Most of the time they're 12 point. Your positive battery cable would go here, your negative battery cable would go here. Your S terminal is right here. <laughs> that would be the one you'd hook a starter button to or short it to your solenoid to get it to start. 
Also right here is another sensor I forgot to plug in. That's the fuel temp uh, sensor for this engine. These are going to torque to like 190 foot pounds if you want the full torque. A lot of torque comes off that starter. And that's the fuel fitting here. The fuel hose, so this one's going to go here. brass so you got to be a little bit careful with them and that's going to come up here that's the fuel pump outlet so it comes in this hose out this hose so that filter housing I just put on is the secondary fuel filter oops okay should have a backup on there doing that 